Your next event, one fall with a 30-minute time limit, 265 pounds from Waxahachie, Texas, Killer Tim Brooks. 230 pounds from Buffalo, New York, the corner to my left, Mark Lewin. Your referee, Bronco Luby. Well, this is one of those that promises to turn out to be a brawl. I would imagine Mark Lewin and Tim Brooks, veterans of many brawls, and there's the bell. And we'll just see what happens in this one. Tim Brooks and Mark Lewin, referee Bronco Lubitsch, certainly do not envy him in his position in this match. And the crowd anticipating, very anticipatory crowd tonight as they've got not only this one to wait for, but they've also got World's Heavyweight Championship Harley Race and Bruiser Brody. And look at Mark Lewin. Mark still, well, he's a few bricks shy of a load, I think. He's not uh, not quite the maniac he used to be, but uh, you just watch him, and there's still something. Of course, he may just be so intelligent that he likes to put this act on. I really don't know. When we talk to him, he's so very quiet, and he's so very controlled, and I, I'm really not sure what happens to him in the ring, but he's got the crowd involved in the rhythmic applause right now, and... Tim Brooks is kind of wandering around, not quite sure exactly what's going on. And now Brooks and Lewin square off. With a little sparring, and into the corner goes Brooks. Head under the ropes, and that brings the break by Bronco Lubitsch. Tim Brooks. Very wary of Mark Lewin, and here they go back into their fighter's pose. Now Lewin into his martial arts pose. <laughs> Lewin looking up at the camera now. Kind of uh, a strange character, this Mark Lewin. I don't think he and Brooks have really even gotten together yet. I think uh, Lewin caught him with one punch, and since then they've just kind of walked around and taunted each other. Here they go down to the referee's hold, and now Lewin and Brooks locked up in the center. And a big forearm smash by Tim Brooks off the ropes, but a karate chop by Mark Lewin, and that sends Brooks down to the canvas. Kind of shaken up. Mark Lewin fixing his hair. Now they go into the ropes, and here's, well, a big punch now to the back by Tim Brooks. Lewin kind of staggered by that one down in the corner now. Here's an elbow smash by Tim. And Lewin outside the, in the apron as Brooks stomps across his throat, and Lewin goes for a little stroll outside to the area. But uh, fortunately here at the Sportatorium, See, just about, I don't know if there are very many empty seats of any at all here tonight. Jam packed here, and uh, Mark Lewin out there. Fortunately, as I was going to mention, there's a lot of space around the outside of the ring here, and it's roped off and very well patrolled by the security men. So when they get outside the ring, it doesn't always turn into a Donnybrook with the fans. As right now, Lewin with a judo chop to the throat of Tim Brooks. A little quick chop as he demonstrates in the air to Bronco Lubitsch, the referee. And outside headlock and a, I guess an eye gouge or he did something there to Lewin. Lewin out on the apron of the ring. Now you see Brooks grabbing him by the nose and that's very painful. And they go outside and here comes Brooks out onto the floor. Now well, this is fortunately where we have all this room as now Brooks going after Mark Lewin and well, there they go right up the aisle. I just talked about all the room they had, but they go into the support pole there and uh, into the girder. And finally, Brooks comes back to the ring as Lewin is still outside the ring. Bronco Lubitsch comes out, try to get Brooks back into the ring as Brooks took 
Mark Lewin and rammed his head into the support pole back there and I don't know if I can't see uh, Lewin from here and I don't know what's going to happen whether or not he can continue or not as now you see Tim Brooks down underneath the ring trying to look for something and here comes Lewin walking slowly back down the aisle and there's a piece of a broken chair picked up by Brooks and he nails it right on the head of Tim of uh, Mark Lewin and now Brooks goes back into the ring as Lewin lying outside right next to the timekeeper. Five minutes gone. And so five minutes have gone by in this match and it has turned into just what we thought kind of a brawl although not too quick paced so far. Now here comes Brooks outside he grabs the head of Mark Lewin throws him into the side of the ring. And Lewin is staggered and lying outside or now he's in a sitting position getting up onto his feet outside the ring as Tim Brooks patrolling around and now Lewin just collapses. He may be through for the evening. Brooks trying to get outside the ring but he's being held back by Mark Lewin by Mark Lewin by Bronco Lubitsch as Mark Lewin trying to get to his feet. Here comes here comes Brooks as he grabs that rope outside there and takes it across the throat of Mark Lewin. Bronco Lubitsch in there pulling him off. And Lewin is in a lot of trouble as Brooks has the upper hand here. Brooks has something to say to some fan who had something to say to him, I think, outside. And Lewin still trying to get his wits about him as Brooks comes back into the ring. Well, so far, I kind of wonder why we have a ring here because this battle has taken place mostly on the floor. Now, Lewin has picked up, I believe, the. Yeah, he's picked up the, I think, the thing they ring the bell with, the long metal pole, and now he goes after Brooks. He drops it, takes Brooks into that post there that holds the ropes, and now Lewin has the upper hand as he's really going all over Tim Brooks. They're outside the ring. The referee is outside the ring. Now look at Lewin's got that broken chair and he goes after Brooks takes Brooks head down into the folding chairs and everybody scatters to the wind right now. Lewin has just gone kind of berserk as Tim Brooks picks up a chair and he goes after Mark Lewin with the chair. Lewin throws the stairs in front of him and obviously this has turned into just a, a wild brawl. I can't see this going on very long as now. Lewin hits Brooks with the chair. Brooks and Lewin, well, they're trying to get back in the ring, but now Brooks pulls Mark back. Now Lewin comes outside the ring. As they, now look at him go toe to toe outside the ring. Ronko Lubitsch has yet to do any counting. He could count both of them out, I'm sure. He's yelling at Brooks and yelling at Lewin to get back in the ring. And now Bronco I believe has gone back into the ring where he could start a count. That's what he's done. And Bronco Lubitsch the referee has had just about enough. He's gone back into the ring where he's starting his count. And the two men continue outside the ring. It's Brooks and Lewin and they're just uh, you know just, it's just havoc out there as Lewin Lewin has tried a couple of times to get back into the ring. Brooks won't let him come back in. As the count is just about at the count of 20, they're still outside, both of them, and they have not come back in. And we'll see what happens, whether or not Lubitsch is going to go. There's Brooks going over, rather Lewin going over and grabbing the chain, takes the chain and wraps it around Brooks' throat. Good look at it there, and there's a chop to the forehead. Lewin continues to take that chain, and now he's going to use the chain like brass knuckles. Takes the chain and hits that into the forehead of Brooks. And now another chop, and Brooks is out of it. Lewin back in. Tim Brooks and Mark Lewin. Spent some time outside the ring. Now at shoulder tackle knocks them both out. Somebody's got a count of 10 here to get back onto their feet. And 
Well, Bronco Lewis quits counting as both of them start trailing around. There's Brooks going after that dog chain. You see Lewis sitting out on the apron. He's trying to just get his second yeah, wind or his third win or his fourth win or whatever. And now here comes Lewin. Big chop to the forehead, but Brooks comes back with a punch to the side of the head. Two or three in a row now, four in a row. And now it is Lewin kind of just staggered, walking around outside the ring. Turned around by Brooks, and they just lock up outside the ring. I do not imagine we're going to see this one go on very much longer. Now Brooks is picked up by Lewin and body slammed onto the floor. And there's the bell. I think they're ringing the bell as they have counted them out. Referee Bronco Lubitsch has disqualified. Yeah, I knew this wasn't going to go on very long as they just got outside the ring and just kept going. And I don't think it's really over. It is officially over. Both of them have been counted out of the ring. It's a double disqualification, but I don't think this thing has quite ended yet. Brooks and Lewin outside the ring as they just are choking each other. Bronco Lubitsch trying to get them apart. And the security men just standing by. They are instructed not to get involved with the wrestlers unless the wrestlers get out into the crowd, usually, or unless the referee asks for help. You see Mark Lewin now picking up that ring or the uh, the bell gong there, the clapper of the bell. Now they're back into the ring, but here's Brooks being chased right into the ring by Mark Lewin. And Lewin. Well, now what are we going to have? We got a, a chain and a steel bolt. And the bolt wins that battle. And Mark Lewin, without any trouble, gives it away. And you see Brooks outside the ring. He's mad. He's patrolling around. He's beating the floor and everything around him with that big chain as Mark Lewin is in the center of the ring, inviting him back in. And well, here comes Brooks. It looks like he's going to go back into the ring. And now Mark Lewin has a weapon. Brooks has a weapon. Ah, Brooks is going to threaten him or challenge him to the dog chain match, which I don't think the referee is going to allow to happen. But anyway, I think we have just about seen the end of it. They probably are both so exhausted there's not going to be a whole lot more. As Brooks now takes off the chain and Mark Lewin has his weapon, Brooks has his weapon, and we have battled to a draw. And we'll be back with more in just a moment. <laughs> 